7 o'clock, I should get my newspaper by now. Riddhi, can you pass me my newspaper? Good morning, Dad. Here's your newspaper. Riddhi, look, I found a riddle for you. Answer this. Everyone has equal of it, but it depends on a person if you want to invest it or, or waste it. Is it time? Yes, you guessed it. Dad, why are you always talking about time? Do this at time, do that at time. Time is as precious as gold, but gold can be bought and sold. But time spent cannot be brought back. Yeah, yeah. Don't you believe me? Let me show you. Chalo, aaj yoga kaksha mein kuch naya ho jaye. देखिए ना कितना समय हो गया अतिशय अब तक योगा क्लास से वापस ही नहीं आया अरे तुम इतनी चिंता क्यों करती हो आता ही होगा अरे हाँ इस लड़के को तो समय की कदर ही नहीं है अरे अतिशय तुम आ गए ये क्या तुम आते ही गाने सुनने लग गए पहले ही तुम एक घंटा देरी से आए हो तुम कोई भी काम समय पर नहीं करते अरे क्या तुम लोग समय के पीछे पड़े रहते हो क्या रखा है इस समय में जब मन चाहे उठो जब मन चाहे खाना खाओ और जब मन चाहे सो जाओ नहीं नहीं ऐसा नहीं है तीसरे समय तो बहुत अनमोल है तो आओ सुने समय की कहानी स्वयं समय की जुबानी मैं समय हूँ मेरा जन्म सृष्टि के निर्माण के साथ हुआ था मैं पिछले युग में था आने वाले समय में भी रहूंगा और आज भी हूँ मेरा बीता हुआ समय भूतकाल कहलाता है और आने वाला समय भविष्य काल के रूप में जाना जाता है और आप और मैं जो आमने सामने हैं यह मेरा वर्तमान काल है सृष्टि के प्रारंभ से अब तक कोई मुझे नहीं हरा पाया है कितने राजा महाराजा आए बाढ़ सूखा और तो और बड़ी बड़ी महामारिया भी मुझे नहीं रोक सकी हैं। जो मेरे साथ चलता है वह निरंतर आगे बढ़ता है जो अपना समय व्यर्थ करता है मैं उसे पीछे छोड़ आगे निकल जाता हूँ क्योंकि रुकना मेरा काम नहीं चलना मेरी शान मैं समय हूँ मेरा जन्म सृष्टि के निर्माण के साथ हुआ था मैं पिछले युग में था आने वाले समय में भी रहूंगा और आज भी हूँ मेरा बीता हुआ समय भूतकाल कहलाता है और आने वाला समय भविष्य काल के रूप में जाना जाता है और आप और मैं जो आमने सामने हैं यह मेरा वर्तमान काल है सृष्टि के प्रारंभ से अब तक कोई मुझे नहीं हरा पाया है कितने राजा महाराजा आए बाढ़ सूखा और तो और बड़ी बड़ी महामारियां भी मुझे नहीं रोक सकी हैं। जो मेरे साथ चलता है वह निरंतर आगे बढ़ता है जो अपना समय व्यर्थ करता है मैं उसे पीछे छोड़ आगे निकल जाता हूँ क्योंकि रुकना मेरा काम नहीं चलना मेरी शान अरे अतिशय 
याद रखो जीवन में यदि चाहिए तुम्हें सुख सुविधा सम्मान आलस त्याग कर करो समय पर करो काम बाल करे सो आज कर आज करे सो अब पल में प्रलय होगी बहुरी करेगा कब अतिशय ये तो है बहुत जरूरी है इन्हें अपने जीवन में अपनाओ भविष्य समझो जरा समय की कीमत तुमको ये बतला देगा क्या होता है कर्म करना तुमको ये सिखला देगा कर्म पर तुम अधिक रहो मेहनत का रंग दिखला देगा हिमालय की तरह तुम डटे रहो मंजिल तुम्हें दिला दे अरे वाह यहाँ तो समय पर चर्चा चल रही है मैंने दो समय पर एक गाना भी बनाया है समय का पहिया चलते जाए कभी धूप तो अच्छा हो गया है चेतन रहता सता के साथ वो या बीच सच्चा कल्याण समय पर वाहन आते जाते सबको वो मंजिल पर पहुँचाते समय का करता जो अपमान होता है उसका नुकसान समय का सबसे कहना है जीवन चलते रहना है इसको मत बर्बाद करो सदा काम की बात करो कल कल नदिया बहती है हर पल सबसे कहती है जीवन बहता मारी है रुकना तो मौत की निशानी है भाई मौत की निशानी मनन करो भाई मनन करो समय को नमन करो याद रखिए समय बीत जाने पर पछताने के अलावा और कुछ नहीं बचता पहुंचो परीक्षा स्थल पर देरी से तो परीक्षा छूट जाती है एक क्षण की देरी होने पर स्टेशन से ट्रेन छूट जाती है केवल मनुष्य ही नहीं प्रकृति भी समय का पालन करती है दिन रात का बदलना सूर्य का निकलना ऋतुओं का बदलना यह दर्शाता है कि समय किसी के लिए नहीं रुकता इसलिए जीवन में इस बात का ध्यान रखे की चाहे तो परिस्थिति आए या आलस तुम्हें बहकाए लेना समझदारी से काम समय से करना सारे काम अरे बस भाई बस अब मैं समझ गया हूँ समय हमारे जीवन में बहुत महत्व रखता है अब मैं कभी अपना समय बर्बाद नहीं करूँगा आप सबके वचन है अनमोल समय का नहीं लगा सकता कोई मोल Alas, people still waste time. They don't understand the value of time and put off things till tomorrow, which can be done today. Yes, and it is shocking that time is what we want most and waste most. Well, Dad, is time is the greatest gift from God? Here are some of my friends sharing their thoughts on importance of time. समय सर्वाधिक बहुमूल्य वस्तु मन्यते यतः अन्यानि वस्तुनि विनष्टानि पुनः लब्धुं शक्यन्ते परन्तु व्यतीत समय ने अतः आगछन्तु समय से विषय अन्यदि जानीम अर्थात समय सर्वाधिक बहुमूल्य वस्तु है क्योंकि अन्य अन्य वस्तुएं नष्ट होने पर दोबारा प्राप्त की जा सकती है परंतु समय प्राप्त नहीं किया जा सकता अथवा आओ मेरे कुछ दोस्तों से संस्कृत श्लोकों के माध्यम से जाने नहीं कश्चित विजान आती किम तस्य भविष्य अतः श्वह कर्णी यानी कुरियात अदेव बुद्धिमान अर्थात कोई नहीं जानता कि कल क्या होगा इसलिए बुद्धिमान मनुष्य कल करने वाले कार्य को आज ही पूरा कर लेते हैं धन्यवाद क्षणश कन शैव विद्यामर्थ च साधियत क्षण त्यागे कुतु विद्या क्षण त्यागे कुतु थनम अर्थात क्षण क्षण का उपयोग विद्या ग्रहण करने में करनी चाहिए समय व्यर्थ गवाने से विद्या प्राप्त नहीं होती धन्यवाद सुप्रभात मेरे प्यारे मित्रों मेरा नाम दिव्यांश दीक्षित है और मैं कक्षा छठी जी का छात्र हूँ धनवान से कोई मित्रता नहीं करेगा तथा बिना मित्र के सुख कैसे मिलेगा अतः 
आलस्य त्याग कर समय का पूर्ण सदुपयोग करके विद्या ग्रहण करनी चाहिए धन्यवाद अर्थात जैसे नदी का वेग पेड़ों को अपने साथ बहा कर ले जाता है वैसे ही आज यह करूँगा कर वह करूँगा करने वालों को अपने साथ ले जाता है अर्थात समय किसी की प्रतीक्षा नहीं करता गतिशो को न कर्तव्य भविष्य निर्चित वर्तमान कालीन प्रत्यंति विचक्षण अर्थात हमें उसके लिए नहीं पछताना चाहिए जो बीत गया हमें भविष्य की भी चिंता नहीं करनी चाहिए विवेक बुद्धि वाले लोग केवल वर्तमान में जीते हैं धन्यवाद टाइम इज ऑब्वियसली अ बिग पार्ट ऑफ अवर लाइफ बट डैट हाउ इट केम टू बी हु इन्वेंटेड टाइम टाइम वॉज इन रेली इन्वेंटेड आफ्टर ऑल इट्स ऑलवेज बीन अराउंड सेंस वेल द बिगनिंग ऑफ टाइम Whether you are keeping a track of how many minutes left until lunch, or until your favorite show comes on, or until bedtime, you're probably finding yourself keeping a track of time all day long. Yes, right. Wow. Do you know how we measure time? Of course, I do. There are many types of clocks. Here are some of my friends to explain different types of clocks. Time is very precious, and we'll never regret it. Wasted. We should utilize time in the best possible way. Time is a limited and a precious resource. Each second, minute, or hour that passes is lost forever if wasted. A clock is a device that helps us to keep a track on time. A clock used to measure, verify, keep, and indicate time. It is one of the oldest human inventions. meeting the need to measure intervals of time shorter than the natural limits time limit two types the day to sunrise and sunset the lunar month and the year here are few clocks that man has used since beginning sundial the sundial is considered the very first device that was used by the ancient people to figure out the time the world's oldest sundial is the valley of king which dates back to 1500 bc but some say that the history of sundials started way before that there were different types of sundials that were used some made of stones and the other made of wood it was used to divide the day from the sunrise to the sunset to 12 equal parts but as the name tells this clock was only useful in the daytime it used the shadow of an object exposed to the sun and as the sun went through its progression throughout the day it ultimately made the shadow of the object to move and ultimately tell time the world's largest sundial in jaipur has been telling time for almost 300 years the water clock sundial only work in day time so egyptian thought of making time measurement device using the most common liquid around water when the level of water in a container drops the outflow of stream coming out of the hole made will also drop in the clock Some amount of water was put in a vessel that allowed to escape through a hole made in the bottom. The time determined varied according to the size of the vessel and hole made in the bottom. The sand glass or hour glass. The first sand glass clock is said to have been made by a French monk to tell when an hour was up. The sand glass consists of two glass bulbs which are vertically connected with a narrow neck. The neck allows some sand to pass through the upper glass to the lower glass. Usually, the upper and lower glasses are exactly alike, so the sand glass would measure the exact same time regardless of its orientation. Pendulum. The next development in accuracy occurred after 1656 with the invention of the pendulum clock. Galileo had the idea to use the swinging bob to regulate a motion of a time-telling device earlier in 17th century. Analog clock. An analog clock is a clock with a face and numbers one to twelve around the outside, and two hands, one shorter one to measure hours, and the longer one to measure minutes. Analog clocks can be seen in a lot of places. For example, a wristwatch, a pocket watch, a wall clock, and tower clocks. Each of these analog clocks need three fundamental parts to make them work: the mechanism, 
and in a resource and a display. Digital clock. A digital clock is a type of a clock that displays the time digitally, that is in numerals or other symbols, as opposed to an analog clock. Two numeric displays formats are commonly used on digital clocks. The 24 hour notation with hours ranging 0 to 23 and the 12 hour notation with AM PM indicator. Stopwatch. A stopwatch is a watch with buttons which you press at the beginning and end of an event so that you can measure exactly how long it takes. The two main advantages of stopwatch are first, it is used to measure the short time interval accurately. Second, we can start and stop at our own will. Smartwatch. It is the most modern watch worn these days. It is a small smartphone-like device worn on the wrist. Apart from telling the time, they can be connected to phones and notify the users about incoming calls, email messages and notifications from applications. Some smartwatches can even make telephone calls and act as a fitness tracker. There are many other types of clocks. Clocks are there in houses, offices and many other places. Smaller ones are carried on a wrist and in a pocket while the larger ones are in public places, for example, a church or a railway station. The primary purpose of a clock is to tell time of a particular place. But with the advancement in technology, the clocks can tell time of different time zones, alarms, temperature, the phases of moon and can even call our friends. Can you imagine a day without clock? Wow! This article in the newspaper is also amazing. Scientists created a clock so accurate that it could measure space-time. Does this mean that the clocks are showing not simply time but also their distance from center of gravity? Yes, right. Lindy, what are you playing with? Oh, this? This is a sand glass by which we can measure time. It is a good time pass looking at sand going up and down. Yes, right. But there are many more fun things that can be done with it. I saw some of my friends playing a game with their sand glasses. Let's have a look. Hi friends, I have two hour glasses. A bigger one runs for 7 minutes and a smaller one runs for 4 minutes. Now your task is to measure exactly 9 minutes with the help of these two hour glasses. So what could be the best approach to measure exactly 9 minutes? Think logically. Oh, so we have to measure exactly 9 minutes. Well, Tarush, let's give it a try. I can see initially both the eye glasses are idle. Let's start both of them simultaneously. At the completion of 4 minutes, the smaller hour glass is finished and the bigger one still has 3 minutes remaining. Let's turn the smaller hour glass upside down and continue the process. At the completion of 7 minutes, the bigger hour glass is finished and the smaller one still has 1 minute remaining. Turn the bigger one upside down to let it continue. At the completion of 8 minutes, the smaller hour glass is finished and the bigger one has run only for 1 minute. I am not sure what to do next. The key to solve this puzzle is to turn the bigger one upside down at this point now and run for 1 more minute. So now we will have exactly 9 minutes. Well, that was fun. I also have one very famous time puzzle by famous Indian mathematician Shakunta Devi. Well, the puzzle is like this. 50 minutes ago, if it was 4 times as many minutes past 3 o'clock, how many minutes is it until 6 o'clock? Let's understand the statement first. Let's call the current time as now. This current time is somewhere between 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Because the given scenario is past 3 o'clock and between 6 o'clock. From 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock, the total duration is 3 hours, which is equal to 180 minutes. Now we have to calculate the time from now till 6 o'clock. 
Let's denote this time duration as x minutes. 50 minutes ago, that means we have to subtract 50 minutes from the current time and we get a point somewhere between 3 o'clock and the current time. The puzzle seems difficult as 4 times as many as which value. So now we have to calculate the value of x. Now it's simple mathematics. The total duration of time from 3 to 6 o'clock is 180 minutes. 4x plus 50 plus x equal to 180. 5x equal to 130. So, x equal to 26 minutes. Maths has an interesting relationship with time. Time maths explores the concept of telling time and converting time into seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, and years. Let me tell you some interesting facts about time. Do you know horology is the study of devices used to measure the time? The most accurate clock ever built is strontium clock which is accurate to within a second over 15 billion years. Isn't it fun to know about all there? Thank you. Well, Riddhi, now you understood how time plays a significant role in our life, whether it's for a housemaker or for any profession. Time is the only thing apart from birth and death which cannot be controlled by human. Let us now see the importance of time in a farmer's life during cultivation of crops. Children, you always say that I give lecture or manage your time properly. But you all never listen to me. So to make you understand, I will tell you a story. There were two farmers. Raju and Shyam. They were growing crops according to the weather conditions. What happens that the crops grew or not? Let's see it together. So rise this year as it is forecasted that we are going to receive every rainfall. But I am going to grow wheat. But that is a winter crop that requires little low temperature. This is not the time to grow the wheels. But it does, doesn't that much water and grows in all conditions. But Sham, there is always a time to do the things. It is not just that we can grow anything anytime. Please mind your own business. According to geologists, every crop that we grow has a fixed time period. But Sham didn't listen to anyone and grew up wheat. Let us now see what happened to his crop. Oh my god, what shall I do now? As I've totally ruined my life. So, what did we learn from this? We learned that time management is very important and everything has a particular time to follow. Now I will tell you about cropping season. Rabi. The seeds of Rabi are sown between October and December. The crops are harvested between April and June. Wheat, barley, peas, gram mustard are the examples of Rabi crops. Punjab, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh are the states where Rabi crops are grown. Kharif. The seeds of Kharif are sown between June and July. The crops are harvested between September and October. Rice, maize, jowar, bajra, tur, moong, urad, cotton, jute, groundnut, soya bean are the example of Kharif. Assam, West Bengal, coastal regions of Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Maharashtra are the states where Kharif crops are grown. Z. The seeds of Z are sown between and sown and harvested between March and July. That is between Rabi and Kharif season. Seasonal fruits, vegetables, fodder crops, etc. are the examples of Z. Most of the northern and northwestern states are the states where Z crops are grown. There is an inspirational saying that time and tide wait for none, which basically means that everyone has same 24 hours in a day. So no one can complain about not having enough time for things they want to do. Let's have a quick look at a small story. Once a king and a lazy man named Harya were very good friends. One morning, the king said, why don't you do work to earn some money? Harya said, no one gives me job. My enemies told everyone that I never do work in time. The kind king said, 
you can go into my treasury and collect as much as wealth as you can till sunset. Harvey rushed home to tell this to his wife. She said, go and get the gold coins and gems now. Harya replied, I cannot go now. Give me lunch first. After lunch, Harya took a nap for an hour. Then in the late afternoon, he picked some bags and went to the palace. On the way, he felt hot, so he sat under the tree to rest. Then two hours later, he got up to go, but saw a man showing some magic tricks. He stopped to watch for an hour again. When he reached the palace, it was already time for sunset, and the palace gates are being shut. So Harya has lost a golden charm because he has not learned the value of time. The story teaches us an important lesson for life. We learn that we must value time and not waste it as if we have an inexhaustible store of it. Time is precious. Once lost, it can't be regained. Procrastination is a bad habit and often leads us into trouble. We are only left with repentance if we do not act timely. There are many proverbs also which tell us the importance of time. A few of them are, a stitch in time saves nine. Time and tide wait for no one. Make hay while the sun shines. There is no use of crying over spilled milk. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Time is indeed very important and we must utilize it wisely. The famous poet J. Carpenter also conveys to the reader the importance of time through his poem Today and Tomorrow. Don't tell me of tomorrow. Give me the man who say that when a good deed is to be done, let's do the deed today. We all may come unto present if we act and never will. But repentance is a phantom of the past that comes too late. Don't tell me of tomorrow. There's much to do today that can never be accomplished if we throw the hours away. Every moment has its duty. Who future can foretell? Then why put off till tomorrow what today can do as well? We have all experienced the woes of time management at some point. The good news is that there are ways to reclaim the seemingly elusive lost hours of the day. It's all about personal time management. Manage your time instead of letting it manage you. Here are a few time management tips to get you started. Figure out how you are currently spending your time. Create a daily schedule and stick with it. Prioritize wisely. Group similar tasks together. Assign time limits to tasks. And last but not the least, eliminate distractions. This concludes that time is probably the greatest resource we have. Everyone has the opportunity to make the most of time. Above it all, it's very easy to waste and lose time, but very hard to keep it in track. Hence, one must be very careful with properly using time. People must have the value of time in their heart.